Sir Francis, then Jorge Bergoglio, head of provincial Jesuits in Argentina. He was a very authoritarian and rather reactionary uh, figure. A lot of the Jesuits in the province which he governed didn't like that and he left uh, the Jesuits in Argentina split when he finished. Bergoglio went on a two-year retreat, what he called an inner spiritual crisis. When he emerged as the bishop in Buenos Aires, he went out into the slums and spent a lot of time with the poor. He had an entirely different leadership style. But it is folly, he says, to confuse Francis's humility with a liberal approach to church doctrine. The secular media assumes that because he's warm and friendly, he's going to change the teachings that they don't like. And that's not going to happen because, as he has put it, I am a son of the church. He's an orthodox man. Popular press has a crush on this pope, Time's Person of the Year, Maclean's he will change history, or at least save the church. The cover of Rolling Stone anointed him with the cool cachet. When the Rolling Stone cover came out, um, at least two people said to me, Oh Mary, you're very holy. Um, Pope Francis may just make you, just may give you the chance to become a priest. Hold on. Mary O'Regan wrote a blog recently for the Catholic Herald in London suggesting people are confused over Pope Francis. He has a um, liberal reputation, but a conservative record. In 2010, he clashed mightily with the president of Argentina, Mrs. Kirchner, over gay marriage. She wanted to bring in gay marriage. He opposed her. She called uh, the then Cardinal Bergoglio medieval because he um, opposed gay marriage. <laughs> The Pope made headlines on homosexuality with his words in an impromptu scrum. Interpreted by some as a door opening to gay marriage. That's not what's going to happen. Most of the time when I try to say that to anyone, they kind of react with shock, horror. How could this great, um, liberal, revolutionary Pope who's so kind, um, how could he be against gay marriage? The reality clashes with their dream figure um, and it shows that they are in love with a Pope of their own creation. The Catholic flock has shrunk to a fraction of what it once was in Canada. In another bold move, Francis asked average Catholics, not clergy, to answer a questionnaire on things like premarital sex, birth control and divorce, leading up to a synod on the family, the first in 35 years. The questionnaire was to look at really the, how things are. And what did they say? Well, they said that there are a lot of very important questions. But Cardinal, a lot of people have left the church because they don't simply agree with some of the church teachings. We know all the controversial mm. subjects, uh, sure. family, social mores, homosexuality, women priests. Will any of these things change under Pope Francis? We'll have to wait and see. The fundamental things will not change, I'm sure. Don't so, expect... But what's fundamental? Well, for example, uh, the respect for life. That's a fundamental issue. So no abortion? Abortion will never be uh, blessed by the church or accepted by the church or euthanasia. That's no. Uh, he's also said uh, in other issues like women priests. Don't wait for that. The church teaching will not change. He said it again recently. What is changing is the Vatican response to sexual abuse. This Pope, as well as Benedict before him, must answer for that dark church chapter. Two weeks ago, meeting with kids and leaders of a Catholic children's society, Pope Francis said the church will not take one step backwards on the personal and moral damage, nor on necessary sanctions. He asked for forgiveness. But it's a long road back. I was raped by a priest a lot of time, a lot of months, when I was 13 years old. And uh, all the priests that I talked at that time said to me, you have to pray and you have to apologize. Apologize to whom? To him. 
Frank Tremblay was abused at Saint Alphonse, a Catholic boarding school outside Quebec City. 25 years later, he went to police. Father Raymond Marie Lavoie was convicted of molesting 13 boys, sentenced to five years. He served 26 months. Over a dozen men are now suing the college and the Redemptorist Order for covering it up. You have a lot of problems when you are a victim of uh, sexual abu abuse when you're a child. Do you think this pope will make a difference on the sexual abuse issue? No, not now. It's the same as the, the, the pope before. It's the same as Jean-Paul II did 